Hey guys, today we're going to do a $2,500 Bloomingdale's unboxing. I think this is going to be a good one. I feel like I have kind of let you down some in the latest like unboxings and try-ons. To be honest with you, I have had a hard time even finding enough things on one website. Zara, Nordstrom, any of those to even be able to do this. So today I do think I have some good things. With that said, there was like four dresses I ordered that everything was going through and they ended up sending me a thing saying they were back ordered. But we still have a lot here. And matter of fact, when I got these things, they were running a sale and I don't think the sale's going on anymore. That is the bad thing about, about video. So I'm trying to get this done as soon as possible. I'm opening the first thing here and I, I did get some good stuff. Now, keep in mind, I live at the beach. I love dresses. I have several events coming up. And I also have, like, I'm starting to walk again. I'm getting back into my just spring, summer groove. And what else do I have in here? I think I have some good, like, special edition things, things like that. Okay, so the first thing is here. What is this? Okay, you will see a pattern in my shopping. I am really into white dresses and red dresses. And of course, I'm always into pink dresses. I love pink, obviously. Oh, and I left that door to my office open today. I felt like the light's coming more from here right now. Let me know if you'd rather have it closed or open. I try to mix it up for you guys and I try to make it interesting. And I just thought it might look prettier, you know, going further back. Okay, so here is a white dress. And right off the bat, I can tell you I love the fabric because a lot of times when you get these percale or cottony dresses, they are like armor and they don't like mold to your body and they don't move when you walk. Two things that are very important to me. So let's see. One thing I love about Bloomingdale's is their aqua line. If you guys have not looked at that line, it is so good. It is very underrated. And it's a great price. So I'm thinking a lot of these are going to be Aqua, Waif, W-A-Y-F, Bardo. You know, once you get to know the brands that you really love, it's easier to shop. You can go ahead and, you know, get it figured out. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. This is Waif. So it's low cut, but not in a bad way. It has these ties. You could easily wear, I would wear a very, like, don't wear a ribbed tank top under this. If you're going to put something under it, make it a really nice, maybe a really thin strapped sports bra or a bandeau or a cami or a silky cami or something like that. I will probably just go with the flow because I think skin is beautiful. And I love this. And it's very conservative in every other way. That is the beauty of this. And it is lined. It has the slip in it. Oh my goodness. I love this. And I did get the small and it looks like it's going to fit me. So this is amazing. I also love dresses that have some femininity and sexiness to them. But you can still wear them every day and you can wear them with flat sandals because I think that's what makes such a good mix. Okay, I gotta save all these receipts just in case. This is pink and, okay, ooh, okay. It's pink <laughs> and it's sexy. Okay, I will say I'm not gonna judge it yet until I try it on because it is long and it's only see-through right there. Like, it's not see-through in the boobs. It's just see through that little bit of space. Let's see. This is aqua, size small, $98. And you know what this would look good with is a white blazer, like a white tuxedo blazer or something like that. I mean, you could put black with it, but I think white would really pop. So I will try it on and see how it goes here. Okay, so that's those two. Let's open another bag. These have been sitting downstairs on my dining room table while, you know, everything came in. And I paid for the fast shipping, but you know how that goes these days. I feel like nothing is the same since COVID. And that's just the way 
life is. Everything is always changing and we have to keep on getting it, you know? And, um, but I just feel like, you know, used to, I think places had like a distribution center and they would ship things from there. And so you could get them quickly. Now you can tell it's coming from different stores, if not the manufacturer itself. So, okay, <laughs> pink again. You know what, you like what you like and stick with it. When you get to be in your 50s, really in your 30s, I would say, I would say it might've taken me until late 30s, maybe even early 40s to really feel confident in what I naturally liked, to not mind if someone says you're always wearing so-and-so, you would look better in so-and-so, you know, things like that. It takes a while, that's just part of it. But now I'm very confident, as you can tell, in what I like and you just, it's impossible to please everyone. The most important thing is for you to feel good. And I do think it's very important to, you know, keep your spouse's opinions in mind. Like John hates red lipstick. I, it, I really don't think it looks good on me, but you know, for those two reasons, you don't see me wear red lipstick, you know, different things like that. Okay, this looks nice. Wow, okay, look at how pretty this is. So this is a, I think they're all, mm, I might've put a mini in here, but I think they're basically all a midi dress. This one is strapless and it zips up the back. Looks like I got a small. The color is raspberry sorbet. I love that. And the size is six and the brand is French Connection. That is another one that's really good. Um, let's see. The, the reason I get six instead of four is my boobs, okay? I am five foot six, 122 pounds, a 34D. So sometimes my boobs will just be too smushed and I just prefer a looser fit. So we'll see how this goes. Don't be afraid of a neckline like this. Think back to Audrey Hepburn. Think back to Marilyn Monroe. I mean, Jane Fonda. Plenty of old time movie stars wore off the shoulder or like across like this, plunging necklines, and it would usually be a midi dress. So you just don't want to show too much at one time is the secret. But have fun with your clothes and have fun being a woman. Okay, I really probably should have gotten John to help me with the boxes because this is not my best thing here. But yeah, here, he is playing golf. He just left to play golf. And I think my daughter Brooke is on her way. She's coming over today to help me steam these things so that I can try them on for you. This looks good. Anytime you look in a box and you see sequins, that's a good sign. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one they left on the hanger. Okay, here we go. Wow, that is so cool. Love it. This is from Aqua. It's Aqua Formal. What makes this special? Okay, it is a midi length. It has the detail going across the shoulder. This is how you differentiate between like a nicer looking sequin dress and a cheap and cheerful. See how the sequins are small and they're kind of close together. And then the fabric is not see-through underneath and the color, the color is more subdued. It's a nudie, I would say kind of like a rose gold. I did get the small, what I do is look at the measurements, just really definite on my measurements, but I do know like around the chest area, I'm usually like a 36. Around the waist, somewhere around a 27, and that's kind of what I go by. And sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. That's why luckily my husband John is good at returns. Yesterday, I don't know if you guys have, will have seen this yet, but I did a Zara try on and I think only, yeah, one, two, three dresses worked for me. And that's just the way it is. And I feel like that's some of the value that I can bring to you guys. So this I really love and I, everything I've gotten, I hope it fits. The sketchiest thing yet is this lacy pink. I just don't know if that's gonna be the look that I'm going for. So we'll see. Okay, this box came like almost already opened. Okay, this. You guys, this is a splurge. Now there are things that I think are worth splurging on if you want. 
And then I, you guys know, I love my Amazon shirts. I love my Walmart flip flops. I love, you know, there are some things that are just so good. You, you want to wear them. This is a splurge, but to me, it's worth it. And I already know where I'm going to wear this, but these are the pants that go to the jacket that I've already gotten. I actually ordered the jacket off of Revolve, but they didn't have my size pants. So I had to order one from one place, one from the other. But remember the suit that I bought in Dallas. The girl had this suit on when she helped me in Nordstrom and it was over. So I ended up buying the black one there. And even that day I saw this blue one and I thought, Lisa, get the blue one. You love that color. You're gonna wear it, get the blue one. And I just, I choked. I didn't do it because, you know, I, went, I guess I needed to think about it more. You know, I wanted to go with the safe black, but I did get the blue Veronica Beard suit. And I love it. I love it. See, I already knew what size jacket and what size pants because I'd already gotten tried on and gotten that suit. And this is the same style. So in the pants, I wear a four. I did try on the six because that's just what I, I just naturally size up. They did not look good because this style of pant that has like this bottom needs to be fitted. Think Audrey Hepburn, think um, a little bit of Mad Men, a little bit, I always think of Melrose Place. Remember Amanda on Melrose Place? I always loved her little suits and stuff. So that's what I'm channeling here. And I love it. I love it. No regrets. I mean, I did really, really, and I still have it, the pink suit from Walmart, but I'm not sure it's still available. That's the thing is so many things, you know, are so good, but then they, they get sold out before I can even show you. Okay. Now I have a big box here. Let me open it real quick. Okay. That one was a bit of a struggle for me. Okay. My cats are going to have a blast in this. They like the deep boxes like this. Cats and children, give them a box. I'll tell you, nothing beats it. Okay, yay! This will come as no surprise if you've been here. Most worn sneakers probably ever for me as far as athletic. Now, I don't wear these just, you know, around. They're not, to me, they're not that fashionable. But as far as walking, these are my favorite ever some of my favorite shoes of life because when you don't okay i'm not naturally an exercisey type of person matter of fact when i told you guys i had joined the gym so i could walk i hated it but not all was lost because it made me realize that what i was really probably getting out of walking around my neighborhood and just seeing everyone walking down by the boats and everything and just the ocean and then you know just seeing who's moving in all this kind of stuff it's more than the exercise it's the getting out the getting in nature the being by yourself it's almost like a release whereas when I went to the gym I did not feel that way I felt very irritated you know like I just could not wait for it to be over and so that is a big win for me because I'm not naturally a big exercisey person but I know how rewarding. That was one of the best things I did last year was I walked every single night, no matter what. And I used these shoes. One, you don't have to tie them. You literally just put your foot right in them. You don't even have to bend down. No socks. I never had to wear socks. So I actually had these and the purple ones and they got a little, um, I would not even say they're worn out, but they're getting to be worn out and they're dirty and everything. So I got a fresh pair of these and they're not crazy expensive. I would um, size up half. Okay, let's see what this is. Some more pink. Let's see. It's actually been, it's probably been over a week since I ordered this stuff. Okay, aqua, I, right? You know, you can tell so much right off the bat. Feels amazing. Okay, this is a halter. Is it a halter? Yes, a halter silky dress and it is tiered which is not always my favorite i'm not really into prairie or little girl e looks i don't feel like they look good on me it's just not i just don't feel like my head goes with little girl things and um but with this see how it's compact even though it's tiered it's not prairie looking it's not really far out or um Southern Bell or like we have the Azalea Festival here and we have the Southern, the Azalea Bells that sit out with the old Southern 
things, it's not going to be like that. So we'll see how that goes. I do, I, I think a halter top is just super flattering on most figures. It's really flattering on your decollete, and I love this color pink. It's a really a rich fuchsia pink. And let's see, we've got a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance sample. Let's smell it. Mm, no butterflies. What is it supposed to be? Dark cherry mixed with intoxicating side of heliotrope enhanced by deep sensual ambery accord. Yeah, it's not, to me, this is not pretty. So, okay, let's see what, oh, okay, another one on a hanger. I've got um, a wedding coming up. I've got a conference coming up. I've got a couple of fun trips coming up. Some like shopping work trips coming up. So different things. And I've learned too that it's nice just to have something ready for when something does come up. Wow. Wow. That is gorgeous. It does have the pads in it. I hope you can take them out. I'm not crazy about the pads, but maybe they won't be. They are, they're just tacked in. So I could have them taken out, but look how flattering. It's got a really nice low back, but not crazy low. And it's that same look that I go to where it's almost looks like rhinestones, but it's studs. And I just happen to like gray. I'm drawn to this gray. I don't know if you saw in my Gosh, it's in my Louis Vuitton unboxing. I'm wearing it. That little two-piece set from Revolve, that is a beautiful set. So this is actually from Aqua Formal. And it is quite long, so I don't know if that'll be a deal breaker. But we shall see. I think it's really pretty. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Looks like I liked that pink one so much that I got this color in this dress. Sorry, that's loud. Oh, I might like this one even more. You know, like I said, I've been into the, this is different. Okay, so this is kind of like the pink one, but the strappy, yes, with just a regular back, silky. It is tiered, but remember it's a, a close, like a heavyweight tier that's going to hang and look really pretty. Wow. See, something like this, you could put on just maybe like the Sam Edelman sandals in gold, or just an elevated flat, and it's gonna look beautiful. I mean, got lots and lots of options. I love that little ruffle there. Just, hey, could this be my best one in a while? I guess we have to wait and see what they look like. Okay, I don't know if I got any two-piece sets except for a part of that suit. Oh, yes. Okay, this is going to be a gamble, and sometimes things are like that. I, so, yes, it's going to be a gamble. I love the way it looks, but it is short, and I did get a small. Typically, in something like this, I may size up to a medium. I don't know what talked me out. I will say, if a medium says 8 to 10, a lot of times I won't get it. If the small says 4 to 6, I'll get it, usually, because I'm between a 4 and a 6. So, we'll see how this goes, but the way I like to wear these is with either a wedge, wedges, wedges are so good, or a boot, and I like to wear a big blazer over it, especially like a big white one over this, with boots or a wedge is what I'm thinking. But it may be too short, and when I say too short, I mean too short for me in my comfort zone. And it's not that I, if I had, if I loved, if I love the way my legs look in this, I would wear hot pants. You know what I mean? It just depends on how I look when I get it on. So when I say that, I mean for your comfort zone, your lifestyle, your family, all that stuff. Okay, what is this? Oh, another thing I got. I got this first and then I went on to order the other things, but I did order another Pamela Anderson, Pammy, no, Pam times redone. I ordered another t-shirt in medium. I did end up liking the medium after I washed it. But I love that t-shirt so much. I wanted a backup. And it's not, you know, I've got the Bridget one that I have two of. It's, it's, of course, I love Bridget Bardot and I love Pamela Anderson. But there's just something about that white t-shirt with the black that always looks good with everything. Okay, this is a, let's see my wavelength here. This is a splendid tank top. And I was, okay, it was $38. And see, I got it on sale. I would say it's not that special. That's what I would say. Now, I'll probably keep it or give it to my mom because 
of, well, gosh, it is really soft. I was thinking this would be a good tank top because you can wear a bra under it, but Gap has these and so does, who else? Gap and maybe Target have these for probably less, but we'll see, we'll see. It depends on if anything's, you know, like if you're already returning something, it's easier to be picky. Okay, let's see, oh, okay. And you know, if you've been here, I do like polka dots. When I see polka dots, I think of Marilyn Monroe. I think of uh, a feminine vibe, Holly, old Hollywood. Um, I'm not gonna wear Mickey Mouse looking polka dots, but this I thought was sweet and pretty. And I hope that it works. Wow, I love that. I love it. We know how popular the rosettes still are. These are hanging on from last year. That is sweet. That is a sweet little dress. And you know what? If you are apple shaped and you carry most of your weight in your upper and mid body, but you have a kick, you know what, pair of legs, wear some short dresses like this. Show off those legs. Make sure that you always use your best feature. You know, put it out there first. And I think short dresses are just the way to go. I just heard Brooke come in. Okay, this is, yay, I got these on sale. I'm so excited. These are the Redone Pam Jeans. I actually was going to pay full price on the website, but by the time I got over there, they were waiting list. And then I, was, I think when I did that video, that Friday, if you didn't see it, I'll put it right here. I discovered that this collection was on Bloomingdale's and I got these and I'm hoping that they fit. I will say if you like a tough kind of stiff denim, which at first you may think, no, I want the soft stretchy. Honestly, these are the ones that are going to be more flattering, kind of like my Marissa Webb jeans. I'll put those up here. Those jeans are, they've got oomph to them and they're just more flattering. I think that's the way these are going to be. Um, hmm. I was going to say I'm slightly scared they're too big, but now that I look at the fact that they're kind of a low rise, I think they're going to fit. Yay, look at that. I love it. So these are just a good pair of white t-shirt. Put on your jeans, put on your favorite sneakers, and go. So I'm excited about these. I feel like these are kind of collectory or special to me too. You guys, these floor cushions have saved me because I've always been someone who kind of liked to sit on the floor. I remember my brother and I used to lay on the floor like this. Did you guys do that? And I ordered a black one for up here from Walmart today, but this is my one from downstairs. I use it in my room. Okay, I'm gonna try to open this without being too crinkly. I had to turn on the AC. Okay, another one of my favorite colors is like a corally color. I do like that. And I think it's, I think it's another color that's very flattering on most people. Okay, this is pretty. Okay, very similar looking to the pink one that I wore to the style conference, not last year, but the year before. This one is not quite as hearty and nice as that one. That one was from Mango, and it was, I think, you know, not crazy expensive, but let's just say 275 or something like that. Whereas this one was much less expensive. It has a pretty back, flattering back. This is Endless Rose. I must have, a lot of times I'll click, you know, the things they have on the side. So we shall see how Endless Rose goes. Yay, you guys know what these are. I was happy to get these on sale. These are the Aviator Nation sweatpants. I think my two favorites are Aviator Nation and Spiritual Gangster. These I just liked because of this. I think they're, they take me back. They're old school. They're very, um, what would this be, 70s? When like Lightning Bolt, OP, and all of that stuff was so popular. Rainbow flip flops. I mean, that was just, this is what we wore was, you know, stuff like this and a t-shirt. And I just love Aviator Nation sweatpants. Now, here again, I could wear a small, but yeah, I usually order the medium because I like this. I like, to, I like them to sit low and to have more bagginess because they are a slim, you know, slim line jogger. They're not like, like for instance, if you got the ones, which I still love these, the ones from Walmart, they are good. They are a little bit thicker and a little bit more full. These are kind of like a summertime jogger, if, if you can say that. And they're pretty 
pretty thin, you know, but I love them. And they just, even if I don't go anywhere, I just love putting these on at the end of the day. But like how I would wear these would be with a white Zara bodysuit, probably these and some flip flops. And I have even been known to wear joggers with wedges and felt good in it. So this is, that's one of my favorite things. And then a lot of times too, I love it when I wear stuff during the day that I can just throw my sneakers on and go for a walk. Today I have on these, here I'll stand up. I have on these pants from, I got them when we were in Florida and they are a little too big. They're from Aerie and today's the first time I'm wearing them. And you know, it is what it is. I should have gotten a smaller size. And then I won't keep these on. These are my house shoes, my little Uggs. But I desperately need, would you say, I desperately need to get my nails done and my toes done. So that is the plan for the day. Okay, I, I wanna take this out together. I got yet another suit. Okay, I got this vest and I got, what did I get, a small? A small. Okay, vests with me are hit or miss. Sometimes I have to get medium, but then these are too big and it doesn't fit right. What usually works best is getting a small and just wearing a very, very if no bra. That's what fits me best, but I understand if you have really a large chest and you can't do that, then it might be hard to even to wear a vest. But I really do enjoy wearing those. And then let's see what this is. Yeah, pants. I do like a good old vest and a skirt too. I like these. I like the way they feel. And then here are the trousers to go with them. Now, if you don't like the vest, put on just a white t-shirt. You'll see some white t-shirts coming up. I, I'm doing a restock and or a tank top and then your like Nike Dunks or Adidas Nizzas or something like that. I did get a medium in the pants because I, okay, I might regret getting a medium in these. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I like my pants to be very, I mean, you can even see it in men, how some men wear their clothes where they're kind of just hanging and flowing, kind of like that golf look. And then you'll see some guys that you can tell, you know, they're trying to, they like that more fitted look. I like the breezy look. I always have. Now, when I, before I got on carnivore and I was 30 pounds heavier, I went a lot more for the fitted look because I felt like that flattered my body more. So that's what you have to do. It's a, what's your comfort zone? Uh, what look do you like? Are you drawn to? And your body, what looks best on your body? So you guys, I hope that you saw something that you liked. Thank you for being here. I don't have on many accessories. My ears, for some reason, some, some earrings I've been wearing have been making them sore. So I'm giving them a break today. And top from Amazon, I told you everything else. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.